السلام عليكم ورحمة الله. Hello everyone and welcome to your English class. In our lesson today, we'll continue with our fourth unit. Our lesson today is the second part from the writing lesson. In your books, page 56 and 57. All you need for the lesson today is your books, page 56 and 57, a sheet of paper and a pen to take down your notes. So let's get started. From the previous lesson, you had an exercise on page 115, which is look at the picture and complete the chart. At the beginning in here, imagine the topics that he will, uh, he will present and write them in the chart. We're going to come up with topics, so not a whole sentence, just a word. A TV reporter could speak about, about sports, celebrations, about foreign affairs, education, maybe housing, higher level sta living standards, maybe new commerce, environment, visitors who are coming, maybe disasters, or any other thing. Let's come on now, we will come up with right sentences to tell what you think the reporter is saying. Let's come up with one of the topics and the title he's saying. If he's speaking about sports, he would say, our national football team are on their way back with the trophy. They won and they are coming back. How about if he's speaking about celebration? Celebrations are like the national day, any, um, uh, any event that people celebrate for could be the celebration of Eid. With the national day is celebrated all over Saudi Arabia, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Everyone is celebrating. He could speak about foreign affairs, about things that are happening in other countries. Like he could say, the visiting prime minister has just signed new commercial agreement that will increase employment opportunities. They had signed an agreement with others. He could speak about education, learning, a new state-of-the-art elementary school has just opened in Jeddah. A new school has been opened. You can come up with any topic and imagine what is the title. Let's get to start. For our lesson today, by the end of today's lesson, you will be able to identify, identify a report of an event. You will be able to give directions and analyze a report of an event. Let's get started with this. In your books, page 57. Here we're having this card. You are supposed to listen and tell. What is the speaker telling us about? Let's listen. How to find us? Head southwest on Bloom Street toward Main Avenue. Turn left onto Main Avenue. Take the second right onto Hinsdown Street. Continue on Hinsdown Street for 3.1 miles toward North Avenue. Enter the hospital grounds from North Avenue and take the first right for the emergency entrance. Patients can be dropped off at the door. So, what is the speaker trying to do in here? He is actually trying to give directions. What did he say? He's actually giving directions said, head southwest, turn left, take, continue, enter, and take the first right. When you are giving directions, you will not say, you will do, no, do, head, turn, go straight ahead. Then, we're having the other part. Let's listen to it. What is he trying to do in here? Parking. Well, hospital has an underground ramp garage adjacent to the hospital. It is open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Rates are charged on an hourly and daily basis. Purchase an exit ticket from the cashier before you leave. So, what is uh, this text about? It is extra information for anyone who would get into this destination. 
speaking at this uh, this time about the parking how much where is it when can you get into there so when you're giving directions to to people so they will get to this destination they have to know about the place maybe it's a museum they're going to buy tickets how much are these tickets it, it, they re, it is required parking so where is it and what they can do okay so now you're supposed to follow the directions listen follow the directions and you will come up with just trace on the map the trace on the map while you're listening to the directions how to find us head southwest on bloom street toward main avenue Turn left onto Main Avenue. Take the second right onto Hinsdown Street. Continue on Hinsdown Street for 3.1 miles toward North Avenue. Enter the hospital grounds from North Avenue and take the first right for the emergency entrance. Patients can be dropped off at the door. So, the first thing that you will do to trace on a map, first, study it. You will get to know the names of the streets and we're having these, the locations. At the beginning, you would go on, on Bloom Street, then you will turn left on Main Avenue. Here's the right, you're going to go left. Take the second right on Hands Down Street and you're going to go for many miles until you get to North Avenue. Then you will get into the hospital ground. Where is the emergency room? The emergency room will be on your right. Just drop the patients in there. So this is how to get to the emergency room at Well Hospital. We were speaking and we will notice the language that is used while giving directions. What did he say? Head southwest, turn left, take the second right, continue and enter. You have to notice that whenever you are writing, because we're taking a writing lesson, you're now going to start with you should do. It's not an advice. It is actually instruction. So, all of them are verbs. Head, turn left, take, continue, and enter. As if it were command. Do, go, turn, and take, and do. Okay, so when we're writing an email to report an event, we are actually giving directions. You will get to the facts, so you have to report accurately, write exactly what happened. Also, you will use informal style. Informal style because usually we are writing to family and friends. You can use contracted forms, am um, instead of I am, and as if you were speaking. Use imperative when you are giving directions. For the directions, we will use imperative. Take the second right, head southwest. Also, the opening, because we're writing an email, Opening and signing off, you can use hi, hello, best, and see you soon. Because as we have said, it is informal letter or email, it is not formal. So when you're reporting an event, we're following this. At the beginning, you will introduce the event. What happened? Are you reporting a party, celebration, or it is something that is bad? Then tell me what happened. What happened first, followed by what happened next. So follow chronological order, older till the newer. Then what you expect. Do you expect the speaker to come visit you, to see you, or you're not, you're, you're not expecting them to come? Now in your books, page 57, exercise B, write an email to your uncle and aunt Tell them what has happened and give them directions on how to reach the hospital. So someone is not feeling very well and I want my uncle and aunt, and aunt to come into the hospital. So is it, let, let's imagine the event. Is it a car accident or someone 
is, at, is hospitalized, we will choose one of these. And one of the things, the second part, is to give them directions how to get to the hospital. And we will use, let's use the same map that we have already or the directions that was given in the previous exercise. So we will use this map. Before we start, let's get to the writing process. The first thing that we will do usually is planning, and we have our plan is already there. We're going to write a letter to an uncle and aunt telling them about an event, and we want them to get into the hospital. Then, drafting. We will write down our own ideas. Then, revising. These ideas, are they all related? Can we write them down? Then we will go to the editing, correcting the grammar and the spelling, and by the end, the publishing, you can send it out and it is ready for reading. Okay. At the beginning, I will introduce the event, then I will report what happened, and by the end, I will give directions. This is how I am going to write. So, writing rules, let's follow. We have two. Make sure that all the ideas are related, directions, and about the event. The second one, paragraphs. If we're going to divide it into different paragraphs, the first one is about the event, what had happened, then the last one is about giving directions. Also, grammar. Make sure that all the grammar is correct. Reporting, reported speech. Also, we will use the simple past tense because something that happened. Also, spelling. Make sure that all the words are written correctly. The names of the streets or the roads are written the way they are. Make sure you're using capitalization. This time we're giving directions. We're having names. Capital letter for the names. And punctuations, which are the question marks, full stops, commas. Make sure that you are using them. Let's get started. Introducing the event. Now we will draft our own ideas. I will say that my dad had a car accident on his way home, maybe from work, and he had minor injuries. This is the event. Then, reporting what happened, he was driving home from work, a speeding car crashed into him at an intersection. So, this is what really happened. This is the action. Then, I will try to give directions he, uh, he hit his face on the dashboard and was unconscious for some time. He will stay in the hospital for a few days. The following, giving directions. If you want to see him, he is in well hospital. The visiting hours are from 2 to 8 p.m. So these are the ideas that I will, I will, I will rewrite them in correctly formed sentences. Let's start with the first one. Hello, Uncle Sam. Hope you and your family are doing well. I'm sorry to inform you that my dad had a car accident yesterday, and he will stay in the hospital for a few days. I didn't want to bother you, but he insisted you know about it. What we've done in here, we have written a summary of the I want you to come because my father had a car accident. I don't want to bother you, but he insisted. What happened? Now we will speak about the event. It happened when he was driving back home at night. Suddenly, a speeding car crashed into him at an in intersection and threw him into a telephone pole. He was fortunately wearing his, his seat belt, but he still managed to hit his face on the dashboard. He was unconscious for some time and woke up as he was taken into the, an ambulance. The, the doctors recommended that he stays for a few days for supervision. So he will stay for a few days just to check up. Now the directions. Please don't worry, he will be fine and you can call him whenever you want. In case you want to check up on him and see him, he is in well hospital. To get there, now the directions, head south on Main Avenue, then take the second right onto Hensdown Street. Continue on Hensdown Street 
for 3.1 miles toward North Avenue, then enter the hospital grounds from North Avenue. His room is number 10 on the third floor. The visiting hours are from 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. Then write your name. We have put the ideas in the same order by the end directions with extra information in here. We're adding information like the visiting hours and whatever you want to tell. Let's try to check. Now we're having these and you will try to come up, you, you're trying to spot the mistakes. Hello, Uncle Sam. In here, what do you think the wrong, the, the, the wrong thing is? It is actually the capital S. Check capitalization. His name, Sam, capital S. I hope you and your family are doing well. It finished with, well, we ended up with a full stop. I am sorry to inform you that my dad have a car accident yesterday. If it is yesterday, so this one should be had. He had a car accident yesterday. And he will stay in the hospital for a few days. Then, the end of the sentence. Stop. I didn't want to bother you, but he insisted you know about it. All done. We need a full stop here. The second paragraph. It happened when he was driving back home at night. Anything in here? Here, he, small h. Suddenly, a speeding car crashed into his, into him, at an intersection, notice the his, into his car or into him. We will use an object pronoun. And threw him into a telephone pole. He is fortunately wearing, here, do we use is? He is, now he is sick. He was fortunately wearing his seat belt, but he still managed to hit his face. What do you think about hits? Hit. Hit his face on the dashboard. He was unconscious for some time and woke up as he was taken into an ambulance. The doctors notice capital T after the full stop recommended he stays for a few days for supervision. It ends up with a full stop. This is the correct one in here. Let's continue with the other one in here. Please don't worry. He will be fine and you can call him whenever you want. We notice after the comma, never use a capital letter, small h. In case you want to check up on it, to check up and see him, he is in well hospital. What do we use in here? Here, we have to use a comma. It's not the end of the sentence. However, we have a time close and a min close. Well, hospital. To get there, head south on Main Avenue. Notice Main, it is a name, so capital M. Then take the second right into Hen Hens Down Street. Continue on Hens Down Street for 3.5.1 mile. What do you think? It's not only one, miles toward North Avenue, comma, here. So we have to notice whether it is a full stop, then capital letter, or comma, and a small letter. So full stop, then enter the, then enter the hospital grounds from North Avenue. He is in room 10 on the third floor. The visiting hours is, do you think it is is? Visiting hours, not one. 2 to 8, more than 1 hour, are 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. Here we are. Here is the correct writing. Now it is your turn to write your own, your own re uh, um, a report of an event. How are you going to do it? After writing, check out with this rubric. You will ask yourself, am I doing great, good, okay, or my work needs to be, we, we need to work on it more. What are you going to check? 
take notes from a conversation. The conversation that you got between you and your uncle, you will report it. So take notes on a conversation, from a conversation. Change forms when appropriate. You will use different reporting verbs. It's not al always ask, tell, or, t or said. You have to say recommend, many other verbs. You can refer to the grammar lesson. Also, connect quotations as required. He told me, and you will write direct and in the indirect speech as well. Refer to how the event might have had a different account. What I think and what the other think. Also, report thoughts correctly. So it's not only how, what I think, what other people think and how they feel. He felt annoyed. He felt happy or sad. You're not re only reporting events. Report questions correctly. Even the questions will be reported. Statements, sentences, and also edit and rewrite. After finishing from the writing, make sure that you will edit just the, like the way that we have done in a minute. Your writing, check it out again as this one, and make sure that you got all great, all good, so you will have a good writing. Okay, for your homework, you will write a report of an event. Imagine that something had happened to one of your ma family member members, God forbid, you are reporting that to your uncle or to your aunt. You want them to get to, let's say, the hospital. Okay? I guess that is it for the lesson today. And thank you so much for your time.